So we actually don't own that many push-button autos. Yeah, we really don't. That's kind of weird. You guys have heard us uh, in general. We prefer a lot of the manual knives, but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean the push-button autos are bad. No, no. I started out with one, like, back in the day of one of my favorite knives. What was back in the day, Frankie? I don't know. A while ago. Probably five years ago? Yes. Yeah. I still love my little mini Boker Kalishnikov. These are good options, guys, and they're not very expensive. Okay. Yeah. Excellent little budget push button auto. Well, and they're a great, like, wife carry. Wife carry? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to carry your wife. Um, no, I meant, like, for, like, smaller pockets, girls, anything yeah. like that. They're a great present for females. And, and that clip, Frankie? It's super deep. It goes good in the boot. <laughs> it's true. I, gonna, I used to always go in my boots. I was going to go with the rib thing. Oh. Yeah, but the the Boker Kalishnikov, and you've got two of them. Yes, I do. But other than that, we really just we don't uh, have very many. Uh -uh. Um, you don't really count the Microtech Ultratex and the UTX no, varieties. No, it's technically not a push button. Yeah, it's an OTF, but that's an awesome little knife. Yeah, it is. But then that jumps up to 220, 250, it somewhere in that range. A, if not more, because right. you can't find them at all. Yeah, UTX-70. But what about something USA made that starts at around $75? Yeah, that's pretty good. Frankie. You finally got one of your Launch 4s. I know. I've wanted the Launch 4 for a <laughs> long time. You guys have probably heard me. That's a snappy little thing. It is. They're just cool little knives. They are. Um, tons of varieties of these knives. And, yeah, Launch 4. They've been around for years. Yeah. Um, they are USA made. Like I say, they start at $75. I think this one is 82 Okay. Yeah. Well, it's the murdered out version. Right, right. So, the crazy thing about this knife, too. So, at that price, what are you getting? Well, let's just start off and say you're getting CPM 154. Oh, nice. CPM is Crucible Particle Metallurgy. It's a powdered steel. Yeah. That's a lot of steel. And USA made, too. Right, for the knife. Um, yes, this one's a small knife, but you can get any of the launch series, like, for relatively low cost. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Yeah. Um, check it out. What do you think? I think it... Pretty snappy. It is very snappy. But it's not overly snappy because I did have that Protec runt for a while. Yes. And that was... It would jump out of your hand. Yeah, it was actually, like, too snappy. Mm hmm If there's such thing. You know what, though? I bet if, if you handled it nowadays... Yeah. My hands have gotten better. At knives. Yes. Yeah. Let's look at how little he is. I'll check this out. Okay, so it's officially 1.9 inches. Mm-hmm. So... He's car legal. Car legal. <laughs> California legal, all right? But that's not why I like this knife. What? I just like it for its size and what it is. Yeah. It's a small little auto. It is. It is pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm going to be EDCing this one. I already have a little bit, but I'm going to be EDCing this one... Um, I don't know, a lot in the next uh, couple of months. A little while. Yeah. Well, and that size is just handy, too. It's, it is. It just yeah. is. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this will freak people out if you if you show it to them at, at like work or something? I don't know. Well, it is very dangerous. It's an auto, but it's a short little blade. It's a stubby auto. There's the bullseye. I like the button. Yeah. I've never had an issue with the buttons on the launch series. And it is aluminum. And they yeah. do come in a bunch of different colors. That's what's neat about them, too. Seriously, there's a lot of varieties of these things. And that blade, okay, so it's, you know, the spear point blade, I don't think that changes on any No, of them. I don't think they have any others. Yeah, but they also have satin and Damascus varieties. Yes, the Damascus is very pretty. What's that blade stock? Do you have the calipers over there? Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. Frankie's got her, her setup over here. Yes. 0 0.11, 0 0.12. 0 0.12, somewhere in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Let's see how much he weighs. Doesn't weigh much, like she says, aluminum. So okay. coming in. Oh, right, uh, at, right two at two ounces. Right at two ounces. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's nothing. It's yeah, nothing. It really you don't is. realize you're carrying it. The only thing I'd say about carry. The clip. Uh, yeah. What do you think about that? This is a common Kershaw clip. Let's it show is. Them. Common Kershaw clip. Right. I don't know. It's just so basic. It seems like it could be, like, smaller because it's such a small knife. It takes up the whole knife. That's the main thing. So, and I think I I've know. seen other people complain about it, too. There's nothing wrong with this clip, but on this knife, it's just kind of huge. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of knife sticking out. It is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the USA emblem. 
Well, yeah, if you think about it, too. I mean, how much of it is actually sticking out? Like, a tenth of the knife? Or, like, an eighth of the knife? <laughs> oh, I'd say more than that. I'd say, like, three quarters of the knife. So, uh, or, sh <laughs> 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 three quarters of the knife are what's in your pocket. In a quarter your pocket. is sticking out. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you guys got me. Yeah. By the way, we're doing this video before work. Uh, yeah, so it's bear not even, with us. It's not even, uh, we're not awake yet. It's not even 7 a.m. yet. Jeez. Yeah. No, I love it. So, I should tell, too... My brother went with us, uh, he lives down oh, in the, yeah. the Georgia area, uh -huh. the Georgia, Atlanta area. So he went with us to Blade 2018. Yes, yeah. And, you know, he carries knives, but he's not really a knife guy. Uh -huh. Okay. He bought two of these and another one in the launch series. He loved yeah. them so much, but he bought two of these. He bought one for himself and one for his girlfriend. Yes, and she loves it too. Yeah. So that being said, guys... It's coming up on Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. You should get one of these for your girlfriend or wife. It would be really a cool present. She might be into knives. Who knows? Well, yeah. or you could give her something stupid like flowers that will die eventually. This will stay around forever. Seriously. These things are cool. Mm -hmm. I like them. Yeah, I'm going to be carrying. I'm going to be EDC in this one for a little while now. Um, so my brother, speaking of him, he, he uh, I just asked him about it. Yeah, he's loving these knives. He's had it for, well, I don't know, eight months now? Yeah, true, yeah. Yeah, he said it's starting to dull. Oh. Okay, so that's been a little while, and yeah. he uses his knife, I believe, every day. So um, I, of course, offered to sharpen it yeah. for him. Well, that's he's, nice of you. Well, he's family. Yeah. You know, yeah. But, yeah, that CPM 154 will do pretty well for you. Well, and Kershaw's always come out of the box, like, super sharp, too. They do. We've never had an issue with that. Yeah, this one's done a little bit of cutting so far, but... Yeah, they, they're they always, like, wicked sharp. Yeah. What other clip works on there, guys? Do you have something? Oh, yeah, there probably think, is those basic other ones. I think we could have looked around at our other Kershaws, but I think something else will fit yeah. on here. But, yeah, that's... Or I guess, take it off. You really don't need a it's clip true. that much, really. It's, it's a small enough knife that you just throw in your uh, fifth pocket or just throw it in your pocket yeah. loosely. Yeah, it's going to get dinged up if you you know have keys or whatever else in there but mm -hmm. I don't know hmm. gives it character yeah it does right yeah. Uh, we'll check that out perfect centering how's the blade play I wasn't getting any <laughs> yeah none which is great for an auto yeah yeah like I say biggest competitor let's show it with the I don't know on on Two ends of the spectrum. You got the the budget end with the yeah. collection of cost. I think you can get these for forty. All right. Those are like two forty. Two twenty, two forty, somewhere in there. You know, not California legal. I'm not sure. Oh. I, I don't follow the laws. Maybe. We live in an um, extremely auto friendly state, and yeah, pretty much anything goes. That's what I'm saying though. Even with that said, I don't care that this is California legal. Yeah. I just like it for what it is. He, he, it's just cute. It really is. Same thing with both of these. Yeah. 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 Do you carry this one? You've carried oh, it a yeah, it brought it to work on Monday. See, look at the clip, actually. You should show it. So, that's kind of a longer knife, actually. Yeah. Well, even if it was, like, even, like, this short, it'd mm -hmm. be better. I think I've complained about that being kind of a long clip. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, even the UTX-70. Yeah, something small like that would be good. Mostly deep carry and even shorter and smaller. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's that was just a lazy decision. Just the, the standard. Let's just put the regular clip yeah, on there. Yeah, the standard clip. But that's that's it, though. That's it. I like everything else about this. Mm -hmm. And then they have a new version coming out that's like oh. about the same size, but he's kind of more of like a claw. Yeah, I think they're in the double digits now with the with the auto series. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they've got the karambit looking style, the, the claw. Yeah. Um, that one looks pretty cool. Well, and he's this size, too. So yeah, same size. Yeah. There's a bunch of new um, launches coming out. I want to say this one was popular enough that they're doing, that yeah. they did that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? USA made Kershaw's, we always like them. Um, good warranty and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Good customer service. Legal, more places? True, yes. I would say, so. But you're yeah. still an auto, so it just depends on if you're. Check out your state. Actually, we did get this one, Frankie. We got this one down south. At Indiana Knives. Yeah. Now, yes. he, sell the, he sells these in the store. He sells autos. Yes. But he's not selling them on the website. No, because, like, out-of-state stuff, it makes it just difficult. Yeah, he wanted to stay away from that. We'll see if it changes in the future. But for now, we'll put, uh, we'll put links. Um, Blade HQ, I know, we'll, we'll do that for you. 
they'll they'll monitor which states are illegal and they won't send it to you so mm -hmm. you're welcome <laughs> you can try <laughs> or just search auto laws in your state or whatever yeah exactly yeah. but this one is california legal because yes. it's under two inches and it's you know it's mm -hmm. an auto that's under two inches so I, don't know. I like it despite that <laughs> all right thanks a lot for joining us guys bye